Hi and welcome to Finances Do Matter. In this video we shall look at five ways of earning an extra income in order to pay off bad debt. In a previous video I mentioned there are two main types of debt. Good debt and bad debt. Good debt is debt that we incur in order to purchase something which will enable us to earn more money than the interest that we pay on that debt. Bad debt is something that you borrow in order to purchase something that does not really help you earn an extra income or more money and also has a tendency to go down in value. Things such as watches in most cases, fashion clothes and the latest must-have gadget naturally falls into this category. Are they essential? Generally not. Now we've placed a link in the box below of the video we produced that highlighted five ways you can reduce your expenditure in order to pay off bad debt. But let's now focus on the five ways we can increase our income. If you're employed and have a job, volunteer to work overtime or on weekends or bank holidays. Why? Because most companies will pay you more for doing so. They will give you a higher hourly rate. In some cases, this could range from 20% to 100%. And for those who perhaps have worked Christmas Day, maybe 200%. Because it's difficult to find people to work these unsociable hours. Now you can say, well, why would I want to do this? Remember, it's just a means to clear that bad debt. Two, get a second job. Now, okay. You're going to say, I work hard enough already, I don't need the stress. But just remember, you're only going to do this until you clear your bad debt. Look at it as no gain without pain. Now, I'll give you an example in my case. In the 90s, I was working for a bank in London. And I was very well paid. But even so, I had a large credit card debt that I really, really wanted to get rid of. The interest rate was accruing and I realized that unless I did something extra, that debt would be with me for some time and the amount of interest I would have paid would have been stupid. Now, there was no opportunity in the bank to work overtime or on bank holidays, by definition. That's why it's a bank holiday. And so I took a job for the weekend working for a double glazing company. Now, truthfully, I hated it. It was horrible. Having said that, I learned new skills, particularly selling skills. And within six months, I had earned enough money from doing that additional job in order to clear the credit card debt. And then I gave up the job, because as I say, I really didn't like it. Three, sell off unwanted goods on eBay, Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, or any other online site which allows you to do this. I cannot tell you how much stuff in the past I have hoarded away in cupboards and wardrobes that I no longer used. Old tablet PCs, mobile phones that I had since upgraded, clothes that I had grown out of, which were almost like new. Now, I, each and every year, I clear these out because I still amass them from time to time. Not because I have any bad debt now, but one, I want to reduce clutter, and two, it is an extra few pounds, dollars or euros, depending where you live, that you wouldn't normally have. And it is better than just throwing it away. Alternatively, if for some reason you cannot sell it by these means, then 
give it to a local charity shop. See it as giving back to the universe. It will give you a good feeling and you'll be helping others as well. Get yourself or undertake a side hustle. Yes, that's a term I picked up from the United States, meaning something that will earn you an additional income. Now, I don't necessarily mean a job per se, not to that level of commitment, but perhaps something online, such as create a YouTube channel or a blog and monetize it, or offer perhaps to take dogs for a walk, or cut someone's grass, or clean their windows, people in your area and charge them a fee for doing it. You can do that for as long or as for as short a time period as you wish. Buy and sell on Amazon and eBay. Buying off one at one price and selling on the other at a higher price. Or perhaps go to sites such as Alibaba, which tend to sell goods at unbelievably low prices. But watch out for things like quality, delivery times and minimum order values and these can then be sold either on your own website or again on the likes of Amazon or eBay. If you're a teacher, offer to do lessons online via Zoom or Teams or some other form of social media. There are students out there who are willing to pay for this particular service. The side hustle options are endless and the wonderful thing about them is that they're controlled by you. In the summer, particularly if you can play a musical instrument or you have a wonderful voice, consider busking in a busy local high street. Now, do check with the local authorities to make sure you're not breaking the law when you do this. And don't worry about being embarrassed because after all, you're a street performer. And there's nothing embarrassing about that. Well, before we go, let's conclude these five ways of increasing income in order to pay off bad debt. One, volunteer for overtime. Two, get a second job. Three, sell off unwanted goods. Four, undertake a side hustle. And number five, Consider busking or street performing. And of course, it goes without saying, there are dozens, if not hundreds, more ways of obtaining a second income. These are just a flavour for you to consider. Well, thank you so much for listening. Please do subscribe to the channel and press the bell sign. And if you're willing, Share this video or share the channel with friends, family and neighbours. We're going to cover topics which every household and individual can benefit from. And the more this is shared, the more people who derive that benefit and also increases my motivation, frankly, to create more videos. Now, just as a guide, we are producing a video each and every Sunday at 11 a.m. GMT, which is about the equivalent of 6 a.m. EST. And as we gather momentum, we will then be producing a second video each and every week. But by pressing that bell sign, you will be notified as soon as they arrive. Thank you again. See you soon.